Hello YouTube, it's Jarmo and I have today green shirt because today is the day of the color of green. And why I'm saying this? Uh, the reason being is that I am a proud owner and a member of the Pepecoin community. Yes, I bought in some I bought into the Pepecoin and that is the best meme coin in the universe right now and everybody is talking about Pepe and my portfolio has gone up since I bought like 100% or so so I bought it a couple of days ago at 6 euros, 0.6 zeros to 6 price levels approximately so we i am doubling my money already and i have no plans to sell because i enjoy a lot those memes and the community is great and it is growing ecosystem and there is not yet binance listings so the big liquidity is not yet here and oh boy if the binance will list it Oh boy, how high it will fly. I, I think it will be the uh, new Shiba Inu and eventually become bigger than Shiba. And I'm not seeing any reason why it should not even reach the market cap of Dogecoin and above because Dogecoin is down like 90% from its all time high. So why not? Why not? <laughs> and <clears throat> Pepe coin, I think it could reach one cent even. Yes, 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 yes. I know it sounds crazy. 420 trillion uh, coins out there and one cent is price but per unit. But yes, yes, I can see that happening. And people who are able to hold their uh, precious Pepe coins until one cent will get rewarded. Or this all could end up being a rug pull. But if this is not a rug pull and they start building utility for this coin, so one cent price is very achievable actually. Even in this bull run, yes, yes, a lot of people have bought uh, me Pepe at these prices I bought, and even these prices, and they are not willing to sell it for double or triple price. Why? Because, because this is a riskier investment than bit Bitcoin, and with Bitcoin you can do it. Oh, if you buy Bitcoin at 29,000 US dollars, so you can sell it like double or triple price during this bull run. So, so I think this Pepe coin might run pretty far, pretty far and pretty fast. Yes. And of course, don't chase those green candles. Buy it during the pullback periods, of course, of course. This applies to every cryptocurrency you want to invest. Buy those pull packs, don't chase gains and those big green dildos. You know, even short term pull back, like one hour candles pull back you can buy, but don't chase green candles. Yes, I'm drinking coffee here, black coffee. Uh, <clears throat> and when it comes to Bitcoin, it's quite kind of boring, but I, I found a new meaning for my life and it is the Pepe coin and Pepe coin community. Yes, it's the best community, I think, in crypto right now. I, I, I am a member in the Telegram group and that, that is insane, I have to say. <laughs> yes, that's completely insane group to be member mm. and of course if you buy pepe coin don't take mortgage on your home and buy pepe with that you want to take mortgage on your home and buy bitcoin but not pepe coin 
because <laughs> that's meme coin, pure meme coin and pure choke. It could become something eventually, but right now it is a pure meme coin. And besides that, you don't need to buy that many pep pepes. I mean, if you put like 100 bucks, 200 bucks in pepe coins, you get like um, hundreds of millions of pepes. Because with one, one dollar, you get like maybe two million pepes at this price. Over one million, of course, because there is six zeros. So <clears throat> if you put a couple hundred bucks and I uh, can afford to lose that money, then you might you might need to do that. And when it come, makes the worst 10x, then you, your portfolio is uh, is in thousands of dollars and then second 10x and then it's tens of thousands and then hundreds of thousands and so on and so forth. Mm. Yeah, and maybe you want to dollar cost average in Pepe also. Say you, you, you want first you buy in your initial investment of say $200 and then you invest uh, every day uh 20 bucks more to do that you maybe it's smarter to do do in centralized exchange because the fees are so high if you do it on dex so with smaller amounts it's smarter to do in centralized exchange and when your portfolio has grown there then you just withdraw it to your own hardware wallet Ledger wallet, I think Ledger supports, and maybe Trezor or so, um, <clears throat> or your mobile wallet. Um, but smaller amounts, it doesn't matter <laughs> if the exchange screws you or something happens. But but larger amounts, of course, keep out of exchanges. It's smart idea in my opinion. Mm, I also keep. Uh, all the large amounts out of exchanges i don't keep those bigger amounts in uh, bigger amounts of cryptos in exchanges <sighs> no point in doing this after <laughs> last year and all the all all the scams that has taken place in crypto during the past 10 years or so like mount cox was the biggest one in the big because it was in the beginning and i remember that people thought that bitcoin will die eventually because mount cox played so huge role in in uh, adoption and a lot of newcomers went into uh into um, mount cox and lost their money there when it gone gone bankrupt um and Cardano is hovering around 40 cents. Very good buying opportunity. And if you want to make some residual income, it offers the staking and you can uh, stake from your hardware wallet. Uh, you pull out your coins from exchange and then you put it in your treasure, the latest treasure, I think. This is T. And then you you put them into staking mode there and get uh, staking rewards every ep from every epoch. Mm. And what else, what else? XRP. XRP has stabilized just under 50 cents. I think it's 47, 48 cents right now. So very good buying opportunity there, but that's a major coin, and and I honestly I think it could do very sudden pump, very sharp pump. So if you don't have XRP when the pump starts to happen, you likely are not able to catch any significant amounts of. XRP unless you are willing to pour out some serious money. So <clears throat> buying it right now and waiting the sudden pump is the smartest way to play this game 
because when XRP gets the regulatory clarity, there likely will be some sort of dump because some people are buying and selling right after the lawsuit gets its conclusion and then there is a dump from them and then we can go up because then the utility starts kicking in as the big institutions are uh, feeling more safer to start using XRP as the method of doing cross-border transactions. Okay, that was all for now. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment if you have anything to say. Keep making money, buy Pepe, not financial advice, of course. Nothing in my videos are not considered as a financial advices. These are for entertainment purposes only. Okay, bye-bye. God bless.